Hello, Highland Park. Hello, my fellow Scots. It's Principal Gilbert here. And I'm excited to take this opportunity to share some information as we get ready to start the 2020-2021 school year. I'd like to begin by thanking each and every one of you for the patience that you have shown as we've been working to put this plan in place. And I'd also once again like to thank you so much for the privilege of serving as your principal at Highland Park High School. We are facing a year where there are some questions that are still yet to be unanswered and there's some things that we are still unsure of how things are going to play out. But there are five things that I do know will happen when we return to school this fall. Your kids will be loved. We will continue to put safety first. We will do our best to keep everyone healthy. Students and staff will learn and your kids will be loved. Will our schedules, procedures and routines be different? Yes. However, our commitment to kids remains the same. We will adapt and do our very best each and every day to help students succeed. Before we talk about the learning models that we're gonna put in place, I do want to highlight that we have been working on safety measures for in-person in learning when we return to school. The plan for now is September 8th will be our, our first day of in-person learning and we are excited to welcome back all of our Scots. In order to do so, we have a responsibility to keep everybody safe while we are at school, teachers and students. And there is a back to school plan for Highland Park High School posted on our website. Would encourage everybody to take a look at this plan as it details several things that I feel are important to ensure a safe and nurturing learning environment for our students and for our teachers. In this plan, you will see that there are pr procedures in place for health screenings, the partnership that we are gonna ask uh, our parents and our students to take part in, as well as the, the screening procedures that we have in place for teachers. The protocols for face coverings and that masks will be required for every student, teacher and visitor to Highland Park High School. The cleaning protocols, not just before and after school, but the things that we will be doing during the school day to help keep our Scots safe. Social distancing protocols, including times that we are in the classroom, when we are in our transition periods and then the cafeteria and, be, and entering and exiting the building. And then of course, in the event of a positive case of coronavirus in Highland Park High School, what the notification will look like for our families. One area that has been a topic of concern or people have had questions about has been the safety measures that we are putting in place in our cafeteria. One thing that will be different in the Highland Park High School cafeteria this year is that plexiglass glass partitions will be placed on each table serving as a barrier between our students as they are eating their lunch. This is a time where students will not have their masks on. And so we felt like this additional protective partition is necessary to keep our kids safe while at school. My rising popularity with the junior class is starting now with our juniors and seniors now allowed to go home for lunch, reducing the number of students in the cafeteria. We are highly encouraging our students to refrain from carpooling at lunch. And we are highly encouraging our students that are juniors and seniors going home for, to go home for lunch. Students will have the option to pre-order their meals using the Nutrislice app. More information about this process will be coming out in the next couple of days, but this will prevent us from having lines at our point of sale, as well as through our serving lines, and we are excited about the service that we're going to be able to provide our students using this new feature. I want to spend some time talking about the learning models for the upcoming school year. As you might imagine, there are different options that we have put together for our students and would like to take a couple of minutes to talk about each of these options for our students. There are three new learning models that we are unveiling for the 2020-2021 school year. We have an emergency closure learning model. This is the model that we will start with on the first day of school up through September 8th for our first day of in-person learning. We have a hybrid in-person learning model that I will discuss. This will be in place when we start in-person learning September 8th. And we have a 100% virtual plus learning model. This also will be, be put into place 
when we have when we are back to in-person learning at Highland Park High School. The first model is the emergency closure learning model for Highland Park High School, and this is the one that we will start our school year off Thursday, August 20th to September 4th. This model will be will look very different from the model that we used in the springtime. And I'd like to show you all what the schedule will look like. As you can see, we we will have eight periods each school day where our students will be required to check in. The, the format of these class periods may vary based on what day it is and what period of the day it is. We have broken the day down into providing synchronous and asynchronous class periods. You will see that in an eight day period, a student will have four synchronous and four asynchronous learning periods throughout the school day. And based on the day of the week, we'll alternate synchronous versus asynchronous classes. So for example, if a student in first period, their first period class would be a, synch a synchronous uh, experience on Monday, on Tuesday, they actually would go to first period during the second period block and their second period would be at the start of the day and that would be a synchronous model. This plan is included, this schedule is included in our emergency closure plan that is hosted on the Highland Park website, which will allow you the opportunity and your, your child the opportunity to study this plan and become familiar with it. And of course, our teachers are going to do an excellent job of helping our students familiarize themselves with this plan. Just so that everybody knows uh, that we're all, just so that we are all working from the same context, synchronous instruction, which uh, and is part of this plan, as well as asynchronous instruction. Synchronous instruction could be teacher-led instruction, where the teacher is either teaching a whole group lesson or facil facilitating small groups, where asynchronous might involve a teacher with a pre-recorded message, a pre-recorded lesson, perhaps working in small groups or interventions with small groups of students as well. You will notice that Wednesday looks different. This is not a day off by any stretch of the imagination, but what we have done here is built in this day in the middle of the week to allow our teachers the flexibility to require more synchronous or asynchronous, depending upon where the class is in their pacing calendar and where the students are in their learning. So we were excited to be able to offer this this flex day here in the in the middle of the week. Again, this is a required day where students will be required to check in each class period. The day just may look different each week depending upon what the teacher prefers that class period to look like and how the time should be spent. So the emergency closure, some highlights to it. This schedule ensures a minimum of 240 minutes of direct synchronous learning four days a week. It allows one flexible day per week designed by the teacher. And again, this is that Wednesday uh, in the middle of the calendar. Students must submit one lesson or, in, or respond each day or interact each day in class to be considered present. So we will be taking attendance during the time of emergency closure and we will be taking attendance each class period. The hybrid model of instruction is what we will be rolling out when we return to in-person learning and again, that that is scheduled for September 8th at this time. And what the hybrid model looks like is that we will divide our students that have chosen in-person learning into two separate cohorts. For the sake of this presentation, we will call them cohort A and cohort B. These cohorts will be identified through you, the use of our alpha list with the, with the top half of the alpha being cohort A a, and the bottom half of our alpha being cohort B. And how this model works is that on, during the school day, we will have one group go participating in person at Highland Park High School, while the other group is participating virtually at home alongside their classmates that are in person at school. The teacher will deliver a lesson simultaneously to in person as well as to our virtual learners. What this would look like with regards to a schedule, you could see that for the for week one, cohort A would have three in-person learning days. That would be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They will have two virtual days, Tuesday and Thursday. While cohort B for this first week 
would have three virtual days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and two in-person days, Tuesday and Thursday. It's important to note that we will follow the regular bell schedule during the hybrid the implementation of the hybrid model. So our students that are participating virtually will still log in, check in with their teacher each class period. We'll participate to the best that we can with the direct instruction piece, recognizing that some of the assignments may vary. After week one, we would flip to week two, where then cohort A would have three virtual days and two in-person learning days, and cohort B would have three in-person learning days and two virtual days. We felt that it was important to maximize the number of in-person learning days while being able to distance in our classrooms, in our hallways, and in our cafeteria. And so we felt like this was the best model to accomplish both in-person learning as well as the ability to honor the social distancing protocols in place to help keep our kids safe. Here is what the bell schedule will look like during our hybrid model, uh, eight period day, simil very similar to the ones that we've enjoyed here at Highland Park High School in the past with roughly 50 minute periods. The advantage of the hybrid model is that it provides in-person learning for students while maintaining social distancing protocols. Through our studies, we have learned that there are many, there are several things that we can do to keep our kids safe, keeping our kids at six feet distance when at all possible, keeping our hands washed on a regular basis and wearing facial coverings to protect us are some big things. And by allowing us to have the hybrid model with half of our students in class while the other half are participating at home alongside us, it allows us to provide spacing to keep our students and our teachers safe while being in person. We also feel that in-person learning is important because it allows our kids to stay connected to school, stay connected to the extracurricular activities, stay connected to their classmates, their friends, and of course, stay connected with their teachers. Another advantage to the hybrid model is that we will not be, we be teaching one lesson over the course of two days. Each day will be a new lesson. And so we will be able to march through our curriculum at a, at a better pace. And we will also be able to have reteach opportunities every day to help our kids that were participating virtually get caught up while still moving forward uh, with the content that we want to teach our students and that we are required to teach our students. In-person learning through the hybrid model also will allow us for academic integrity for assessments as our students will be able to take tests in person during their in-person learning days. Another advantage is that the experiences that our students that have chosen the 100% virtual option will be in alignment with the experiences that our students that have chosen the hybrid model. And this is important because when the day comes where we are 100% all back in school, this will certainly help with the trans transition, making it a seamless uh, transition for us to be able to pick up right where we left off because we were all working together at the same pace on the same activities during doing the same uh, following the same curriculum pacing guide, which I think will be a huge advantage for when we return to in-person learning. Also, on the other side of things, if there conditions arise where we have to shift back to a 100 percent emergency virtual environment because our students will remain engaged in the virtual platform and our teachers will remain engaged in the virtual platform, this pivot in the event of outbreaks will be relatively easy. One thing that I am excited about with the hybrid model is that it will allow our students participating in extracurricular activities to have the option to attend rehearsals or practices every day. Meaning, even if you are a student in a cohort that is assigned to a virtual day, you will still be able to come up to participate in your extracurricular activities, even on virtual days, allowing you to be up at school five days a week to participate in your extracurricular activities. Some students with special needs will be able to allow, will be allowed to attend school in person five days a week, 
these students are students that have IEPs that outline instruction received in the special education classrooms for over 50% of the school day. Our campus coordinator will be reaching out to these families directly, notifying them of their opportunities for in-person learning five days a week. We do recognize with this new learning model, there are challenges and we are ready to face these challenges uh, head on as a team. We do recognize this as a new way to do school for teachers. It's a new way to do school for students and it's a new way to do school for parents. However, we feel by this model allowing us to follow social distancing protocols, it will put us in the best position to keep our teachers and our students safe and healthy during this time. Students would receive in-person instruction five out of 10 school days. While of course we would love to have 10 out of 10 school days in person, again, we do feel like this model allows us to lessen the traffic in our hallways, allows us to distance in our classrooms and provide a safe environment for our students while they're eating in our cafeteria. Highland Park ISD is a very tight knit community and alignment is something that we are striving for more and more each day. And we recognize that this would be a change from the K-8 approach for Highland Park ISD schools. The state of Texas has decided that the hybrid model is only an option available to high schools. And at Highland Park High School, we feel like it is a great fit for what we are trying to accomplish with safety as well as a high quality learning experience for our students. A challenge for teachers to run online and in-person classrooms simultaneously is there. However, I will say that that's not unique to the hybrid model. In the event of 100% in-person and 100% virtual, our teachers would be asked to do the same, but by doing the hybrid model, it will be a smaller class size, which we feel like our students would benefit from that interaction with teachers in a smaller group setting while maintaining distancing and participating online, keeping pace with what the class is doing. And for those students participating in extracurricular activities, arrangements will be necessary to get to and from school, even on virtual learning days once in-person learning begins. So again, those students that are participating in the hybrid model and they are assigned to an, a virtual day, they will have the opportunity to come up to school to participate in their extracurricular activity even if it's a virtual day, but we do recognize that transportation to and from school will be a will be something that families will have to think about and take care of. Moving to our virtual model of instruction, and this is for those students that have selected the 100% virtual model. We are calling this the virtual plus model, and I will get to those details here. Um, again, the virtual model we will have students at Highland Park High School participating in school, along with students that are participating at home virtually. And so the virtual learners will also be some of the students that are in the hybrid model on a virtual day. And they will have the same experience as those students that have chosen the 100% virtual model. The virtual schedule will shift once we are back to in-person learning to our regular bell schedule, our eight period day, where our virtual learners will be checking in each class period with their teachers, following along with the instruction taking place, participating in the learning activities that are being offered by our teachers with, again, the understanding that some assignments and some tasks that are done in person will look differently done virtually. Students will follow the regular Highland Park High School eight period bell schedule. Students will participate in a similar learning experience as in-person learners as much as possible. And students participating online will have the option to attend extracurricular activities in person. And that's the, that's the option that we're calling virtual plus. So if you are a student that has chosen the 100% virtual option, but you participate in an extracurricular activity you will be allowed to come up to school and participate in those extracurriculars in person. We are allowing this because we strongly feel and we recognize that our extracurricular activities play such a significant part in the lives of our students and allowing them to stay connected with school, stay connected with their classmates, 
and their their home within Highland Park High School often is these extracurricular activities. And we want to make sure that we provide these options for every student that feels comfortable and is willing to come up and participate. Student participating 100% virtually may be required to take an exam in person using our testing center. Depending upon the nature of the exam, the importance of the exam, teachers may require all students to take a test in person, including our 100% virtual students. We have a testing center. We will make arrangements for each student so that we can do this in a, a safe and secure manner. But this is an option for our teachers and a requirement that we will offer uh, in the event the teacher feels necessary. Coming together is a beginning. And as we start this new school year, this will be a new beginning and a new way for us to be coming together. Keeping together is progress. And I am confident that with these learning models, we will be able to stay together and we will make progress towards building an even better learning environment and a better teaching environment for our teachers. And working together is success. There is no doubt that this year is going to require teamwork like we've never seen before, a partnership like we've never seen before. But I am confident that the staff that we have in place at Highland Park High School, the families that we support, the community that supports us, and the students that we get to work with on a daily basis, that together we will make this a successful school year. I'm looking forward to serving as the principal of Highland Park High School. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody back at school. We are excited for our kickoff events with all of our registrations. Schedules will be coming out very soon with regards to timing as we've broken these days up into smaller groups to keep people safe, but being allowed to participate in these traditional experience as, as we get used to coming back together in person at Highland Park High School. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video and to review all of the information shared in our back to school plan. I'm excited to partner with you in making this school year a great year. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it and go Scots.